are we talking about a future then without investment banks? Potentially, um, or a future where instead of having just a few major investment banks, uh, you might have a more decentralized network of um, underwriters um, because there's still a role to play for investment banks, the issue of uh, uh, building trust, you know, due diligence, uh, reducing the risk of frauds. So You, you know, may have a greater confidence in, than I do that they do <laughs> any of those things. <laughs> but I think what I'm hearing is we could see a future with more financial institutions that instead of being too big, perhaps are too small to fail, mm -hmm. too well connected, too embedded in communities. Right, right. Um, it's an interesting point. You know, the technology is there now that, that financial assets could be traded and they could be traded on uh, um, open source platforms. So potentially we no longer need a stock market or um, a clearinghouse of some sort. But there are still issues, sure. of course, having to do with concentration of these new markets. You know, at the beginning, the internet was very decentralized and now it's very concentrated. So this is the same thing might happen. Mm. So um, the potential for more democracy is there, but that doesn't mean that there aren't hurdles or barriers. Mm -hmm.